All right, what's going on, you guys? JT, PrecisionStriking.com. Now, a lot of us are nervous and scared when it comes to sparring, and it's very natural to be this way. In fact, I would even say that the fear, to a great extent, is the whole point of boxing. Is boxing is one time where you allow yourself to be in a dangerous situation where you're totally out of control, and so you get to experience some fear and feel some fear, and that's really how you come to deal with it or dissipate it, so to speak. But in the meantime, we do get scared. We get scared AF, we get nervous, we get anxious. It's very natural. The more you get in there and spar, the more you get in there and box, the more you get in there and experience it, the less fear you start to have, the more confidence and the more uh, anticipation and, and fun, excitement you'll start to have, provided that the levels go slowly. I mean, if you're jumping in there day one against Canelo, okay, you're gonna have some trouble. It's not gonna be as fun as maybe when you're in there against you know, your friend from the gym. But for most of us, we're looking at gradually getting up there and improving. And so I have a drill for you that I want you to do that you can work in sparring to help accelerate that process, to help accelerate your confidence, to help you get in there, to help you feel more comfortable in spar. One thing that you probably don't realize, whether you're aware of it or not, when you're in sparring, you have a little perimeter around your opponent. It's a circle. It's the distance that you tend to keep. Beginners, they tend to stay very far away, right? When they're sparring, they're scared. They're not sure. And a lot of beginners are halfway between offense and defense. You see a lot of this, right? Unsure. Like, you know, you kind of don't really want to go. Like, touches and get outs and ah, ah, and that fear and hesitation in the distance is making you very ineffective and also not really helping you grow your confidence and develop your confidence as quickly as it could be. So what I want you to do here, you have an opponent around, you have a circle around your opponent, all right? An imaginary circle. You're working on that perimeter, okay? And that's where you start out. You just kind of are keeping that distance. At some point in the second round where you're sparring, take a minute, take 30 seconds. You get your gloves up here. Work on this in shadow boxing and training on your own so you're comfortable. You get your gloves up here. And I want you to slowly tighten that circle. I want you to get slowly into a closer distance and maintain that distance. Now, you're not trying to win, all right? We're doing things today to get you better two months from now, three months from now. You gotta be thinking further ahead. We're trying to condition you, season you a bit, get you used to the experience, build your confidence. So you're not going in there and doing this to come out victorious in a sparring session. Okay, get that out of your head. We're going in there to develop you, develop your confidence, work, work that fear out of you a little bit. I'm at a certain distance from my opponent. I'm going to get my hands up so I'm generally protected. If body shots come, I'll dip and I'll protect. And I want to be a little bit of a nuisance. I want to get a little bit closer to my opponent, and now I want to start to maintain that tighter circle. They're not going to like it. They're going to feel either this or they're going to think, oh, it's, it's game on. All you need is maybe this much of a change, three, four inches, two, three inches. It doesn't have to be anything extreme. They're going to feel that you're in their space, pop, and they're going to start punching you and moving. You don't even have to do much. Just hold the line, all right? Hands are up. They're going to be hitting you here, Okay, you shut down, you keep your eyes forward, you keep your eyes on them. And you work that perimeter, and you get in their space a little bit, and you let them work you over. Fine, you want to throw a couple jabs, you work it. One, two, right, you want to put some combos in there, that's good. But don't be so in your head about trying to take it to them. You just want to get them to punch at you while you're in that tighter space. 30 seconds to a minute, and then you go back out to your distance that you're at and you work and you do your thing. You do that every sparring session for a minute, maybe 30 seconds of each round, and you're gonna see over the weeks, over the months, or two, three months, your confidence is gonna go up. Your reaction is gonna go up. Your defense is gonna go up. Your fear is going to dissipate much faster. You'll be much more calm. You'll have much more confidence in yourself. It's a little bit of a learning curve. You're gonna go through a little bit of a sting. It's not fun, you get in there, okay? So instead of playing this scaredy cat game, get your hands up and get in there a little bit and hold it. Let them work you, okay? Look at them, all right? 30 seconds to a minute every round. 
relax, go back out, do your regular thing. You're going to see over weeks and months that drill, that mentality is going to have a huge change in not only your boxing, but in your confidence and in the fear that you feel, the anxiety that you feel when it comes to spar. All right, you guys, these gloves, Casanova brand. I got them from the Boxing Collector. Link is down in the video description below. Authentic, made in Mexico boxing gloves from all kinds of brands. If you're interested in this style, these kind of boxing gloves, check them out. Check out the Boxing Collector. Link is in the video description down below. In the meantime, keep your hands up, chin down, eyes on the prize. Peace.